Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will see what is a view in SQL Server and how to create the views in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that we will see what are the views in SQL Server and how to create the views. So you can think of views in SQL Server as a virtual table. So views they are virtual table and they do not contain any data in itself like they physically do not store any data. All the data is stored inside the actual tables and they are simply the stored SQL queries okay so they don't store any data but they are the object of the database and similar to the SQL server tables they also contains the data in the form of rows and columns and because every table in a database is unique so that's why similar to the table the view should also be unique in a particular database so as I discussed that the view does not contain any data but there is an exception then there are some indexed views or materialized views so the indexed or materialized views they actually store the data on the disk okay so we will also see in another video but in this video we will see the normal views those do not contain any data so there are some benefits of using the views in SQL server so let's see the benefits of the views so the first benefit of using the view is that it simplified the querying like views can simplify the complex queries by abstracting the complexity okay so suppose you are selecting the data from maybe two or three or four tables and you are doing some joins suppose you are using some string functions you are doing some l trim r trim you know you are using some substring functions so you have a complex query okay so if you use the complex query then you know it will be a lot of code so instead of using the same query over and over again you can actually create a view on that particular query and then you can just simply select the data from the view so it actually hides the complexity of the query so you can create a view and query it as it was a table now the second benefit is that the data security so views can be used to restrict the access to the certain columns or rows of a table for example you have some columns in a table like uh, you have maybe person's SSN number or maybe person's salary or some other uh, you know some other information that you do not want to share with everyone so you can create a view and you can only select the columns from the table that you want to show to the users and you can actually ignore the columns that you do not want to show to the users so it actually provides the security of the data now the another benefit is the code reusability so view actually promote the code reusability by encapsulating the commonly used queries so once a view is created it can be queried by multiple applications or users without the need to rewrite the underlying query so you can simply use the view and you don't need to write the queries over and over again so without wasting further time let's see how we can create the views in a SQL Server database so I have the adventure was 2019 database and right now if you look here so I have written the select statement from the two tables like person dot person and the human resources dot employee so suppose if I look at the first query uh, this one persons dot person so it contains a lot of columns like uh, business entity ID person type name style you know first name last name and then we have demographics as well and then some other information so suppose you just want to uh, show uh, like the business entity ID and then the first name middle name and last name to the users and you want to uh, You know hide the other columns to the user and you just want to display four columns like the business entity ID First name middle name and last name so you can create a view on top of this table and then you can actually Access the table and you can tell the user that this is the view so you can use this particular view to select the data so how you can create a view uh, you can write this query like create view and then the view name so like I can write the view name maybe as vw underscore person okay and then you can write as and now you can write the actual query so I can write the query like uh, uh, select so you can also restrict the data as well like you can put the top close you can put the where close you can write any query right so I can select four columns like business entity ID and then the first name and then middle name and then the last name so it will select only four columns from the person dot person table so it is selecting 
19,972 records. Now suppose if you want to filter some data, like you want to filter the records where the middle name is null, so you want to remove those records. So you can put a where clause as well, like where middle name is not null, okay? Then it will restrict some of the records. So now there are 11,000 records with the those contains all the three names like first name, middle name and the last name. So now you can just select this particular query and you can click execute. So this will create a view like vw underscore person on the database. So if you expand the this database and if you expand the views. So let me refresh the views. So you should be able to see the view. Yeah, this is the view vw underscore person. Okay. And if you want to uh, check the code like the query behind this particular view so you can right click on it and then you can click on a script view as and like either create to or alter to so if you want to make any change so you can write like maybe alter to new query window so it will show you the alter view statement so this is the query inside the view okay and now if you want to like select the data from the view so what you can do you can just uh, query the view similar to the table as well like I can select the data from the view like select star from and then the view name like vw underscore person so this will select the data as like it was a table okay so it is selecting all 11473 records so this view we are using by selecting the data from only a single table now suppose if you want to select the data from multiple table then how you can create the view so the syntax will be exactly same like uh, you can create the view as create view and you can call the view maybe vw underscore employee and maybe person okay and then you can write as and now you can write the select statement so here if you see the business entity id is common between both the tables so suppose i want to select the business entity id and then first name middle name last name from the first table from the person dot person table and then i want to get the higher date okay higher date and the gender from the second table so i want to get these two information as well these two columns okay and suppose the birth date as well so i want these three columns from the second table so i can write the inner join query between these two tables so i can write the query like select uh, this one i can call the first table as a inner join okay and then the second table which will be the human resources and as b on a dot business entity id equal to b dot business entity id and now from the first table i can select like a dot business entity id and then these three columns like first name middle name last name so i can just copy paste these columns and i can write like a dot first name then a dot middle name now a dot last name and from the b table i can select like b dot birth date then b dot uh, gender and then b dot higher date okay so these will be the records those will be selected so now it is selecting only the useful information those we want to display so you can just create a view out of these particular records so these are the 290 records so now we can actually execute this particular query so this will create another view with w underscore employee person and you can access this this similar view as well like as it was a table so you are, you can do like vw underscore employee person so this is how you can create the you know the normal views and if you want to see the code like what is the code inside a view like what is the underlying query in a view so you can write sp underscore help text okay and then you can provide the view name so if you execute this particular query then it will display you the create a statement from the view so you can uh, copy this particular query paste it in a new query window and you can see the actual create view statement from here like what is the create view statement for this particular view yes yeah, so this was the basics of the view like what are the views and how to use them and how to create the views and maybe in the next video we can see like what are the indexed view or the materialized view so stay tuned for the next video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel 
press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.